everybody. Uh, thanks to TEDx Tokyo for this wonderful opportunity today. Um, it's a difficult topic, and it comes from a very personal place for me. Regret is a very understated emotion. It doesn't have the passion or the power of anger, but it lasts infinitely longer. And the regret of losing a family member, a friend, or a colleague to suicide is the most wrenching, most dreadful kind of regret that there is. Now, I'm standing on a cliff in Tojimbo, Western Japan, Fukui, and I'm standing at the spot where 600 more Japanese people have decided to end their lives. Now, I've lived in Japan for 16 years. People ask me, do you like Japan? I say, no, I love Japan. I think it's the most wonderful place to live on the planet. But not everybody agrees with me, because in the 16 years I've been in Japan, 500,000 Japanese people have killed themselves. That's half a million people. There's a war going on all around us, but it's a silent war, and we don't even know about it until it's too late, until it affects us. I knew a victim of this war. She was my friend and neighbor. She was in her 30s and she was having a very, very difficult time. And she was reaching out to talk to me. I got tired of it. She would knock on my door, I'd ignore it. She would put notes under my door, I'd ignore it. She killed herself. And then I was left with, if only I had done this, if only I had said that. So, if only regret could be used in a constructive way, that feeling that you're left with, that I'd do anything for a second chance, a second chance that will never come. But, so I, I decided to start studying the topic of suicide. And why? Why is it? Who is it? What is it that is killing so many Japanese people and one million people in the world every year? So, you know, regret pushed me to say, I'm going to make a documentary. But how, you know, I have no idea. I'm an economist. I have no idea. I asked people. They said, oh, don't be silly. But we go to a strange place because this man helped me make the movie. His name is Boom Machine. He doesn't appear in public without a mask. But he is a student of mine at Aoyama Gakuin, and he said to me, I'm a multimedia artist. And I said, I was so desperate, I said to him, could you make a movie? And he said, of course I can. So we made this movie, we needed a Japanese person, he's from France, and we asked um, another student to help us, and we're going to show you a short clip, a trailer of the movie, if we can cue the trailer now of Saving 10,000, Winning a War on Suicide. So this movie, um, it took two years to make, and I've been promoting it for nine months now. And if the trailer doesn't come, we shall move on. Here we go. Dream of a war. A war on suicide. But I don't even know who is the enemy. Ten to twenty percent of the patients transferred to the ER are suicide attempters in Japan. Killing ourselves is always maybe in the back of our minds. I think it's quite natural to have such a manual of, of how to how to kill yourself. They regard suicide as the way to entertain audiences. It's already the number one suicide spot in the world. Stop advertising it, mass marketing it to make money. Why not sell your eyeballs to eye banks? Why not sell your kidneys for a transplant to use? Tokyo Tokyo Mirto, Shinjiku, no Hey, look, that's the blue light. If you look at the blue light, 
Everything will be all right. I was bullied in my elementary school, and I was seriously thinking about committing suicide. 六百四十六名の方がここで飛び込んで亡くなってるんですよ。何をしたらいいかって分かってます。しかしまだしようとしない。So we've completed this movie and we've put it up online. And we got the truth that many people find that at the end of、uh, all this work, we couldn't find anywhere to play the movie. But somebody came to help us, as they help many people every day, Tokyo English Lifeline. So they gave us a screening. Then amazing things started to happen. Many more screening requests started to come until. A month or so ago, we played the movie in the Japanese Parliament, and it's online that you can see it. So I've got two minutes left. So what is the point of the movie? Who is the enemy in the war on suicide? What is it that we're fighting against? How can we win a war when we don't know who the enemy is? Is it the media? Some people said the fact that suicide is in books, novels, TV shows. Kabuki plays, ballets, online websites, and, su- and suicide manuals really makes it a normal thing. Other people said that it's got to do with, you know, debt problems. I can't pay back loans. Consumer finance companies saying, "Well, if you can't pay back that loan, we'll kill your mother." And this is this is a true case, or is it? Is it about life insurance policies that pay out, that reward people, re- that say, "I can be a hero, I can I can save my family's、uh, house," or is it? You know, is it conformity? Is it something Japanese that you must be the same? Is that the reason why there are so many you know, hundreds of thousands of bullying cases in school every year? Or is it? Does that bullying go on into the workplace? The pressure in the workplace. Two people told me in the movie. My boss said, "Why don't you kill yourself? You're useless." So many things, or maybe it's just silence. A lady told me two weeks ago, "My mother killed myself 20 years ago, and I can't talk about it to anybody." There's this veil of silence that is drawn over it. Or is it budget? That so many people go into emergency room suicide attemptees and they're given no counselling because we can't afford it. So suicide prevention in Japan. The minister told me that when you divide it by 47 prefectures, there's not a lot of money left. So you get things like this: handkerchiefs in the station saying, "Please don't kill yourself." Human life is a treasure. We have blue lights are not costing a lot of money. They're working. 90% down. So, what's the what? Who is the enemy, ladies and gentlemen? I'll tell you who the enemy is. All we have to do is look in the mirror to see our own indifference, because we're the ones who see the warning signs and we ignore them because we're too busy. So, my point to you today, ladies and gentlemen, is don't make my mistake, because regret. Is the most underestimated of emotions. So please take the time to talk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.